Alright, so in recent years, manners in Japan have become a major topic of discussion among both Japanese and the foreigners. But among these discussions, a recent social media post by a Japanese ramen shop requesting customers to refrain from using earphones inside the shop has become a hot topic in Japan. So this time I would like to explain why Japanese ramen shops are asking to refrain from using earphones. But additionally, since the issue is quite closely related to the unspoken rules of ramen shops in Japan, so I'd like to introduce these unspoken rules as well. So first of all, there may be people who don't understand at all why it's better to use earphones in a restaurant. So let me introduce why many ramen shops in Japan don't prefer the use of earphones inside the restaurant. The first reason is decrease in turnover rate. So Basically, right, ramen shops generally operate on a business model that assuming high turnover rates. So if customers wearing earphones delay their meals by watching like videos, like YouTube videos, but it increases the waiting time for other customers too. As a result, it negatively impacts the efficiency of the shop. Well, of course, it's depending on the shop, but it's said that the profit per bowl of ramen is about like $3 to $5. So even a few minutes of customers staying longer can significantly affect the profit of the ramen shop. Well, some people might think then, why well, just raise the prices? Well, actually, there is a like long, you know, kind of like sounding problem in Japan known as the 1000 yen ramen barrier. So, like, this refers to the issue that many ramen shops face that is you know it becomes difficult to operate if the price of a regular ramen bowl exceed 1000 yen which is roughly six dollars at the moment it's simply because customers perceive it as expensive if the one ramen bowl is like more than 1000 yen and um, I guess many people like feel it's a bit expensive but of course Popular ramen shops in a private location in Tokyo, such as like Ginza or something like that, might exceed like 1,000 yen due to like run prices and other reasons. But there are very few ramen shops that exceed 1,000 yen. And given this background, you know, turnover rates become very, very important for ramen shops to operate their business. The second reason is communication. You know, wearing earphones can cause issues like the customer's inability to hear the staff, leading to orders not being smoothly communicated. Well, this also ultimately seems to affect the turnover rate in the store. Alright, so the third reason is manners. Kind of like, you know, engaging in videos or like playing games while eating is considered rude to other customers and staff, and can sometimes cause discomfort. Well, although it's common among young people to watch their smartphones or listen to music while eating in Japan, well, this is still generally considered bad manners, well, especially when you are eating outside. So, these are the main reasons why ramen shops would like customers to refrain from using earphones in their stores. You can probably understand you know, why Japanese ramen shops don't want customers to use earphones in the stores. So what do Japanese people think about it? Well, regarding the use of earphones in ramen shops, Japanese opinions are like very divided, but it seems that many ramen shops owners and other restaurant operators agree with it. On the other hand, there are also like some voices uh, criticizing it. It's also an act that, you know, infringes on individual freedom. Like, some people also believe that like customers should have the freedom to watch or listen to what they like while eating. Personally, I think like using earphone is a kind of an unspoken rule and should be avoided if possible. But however, it's not strictly prohibited. I also understand like customers should have freedom as far as it's not like bothering other customers though. So. But apart from this, there are many unspoken rules in Japan that like foreigners may not be aware of even though they are obvious to us Japanese. So taking this news as an opportunity, I'd like to introduce what I consider to be the unspoken rules in Japanese ramen shops. So if you love ramen and want to have ramen in Japan someday, please watch it till then. So the first rule is not to ring out during busy times, especially during busy times like lunchtime at ramen shop. I think, I believe it's an unspoken rule to eat and then pass your seat to next waiting person soon after. Well, of course, since you are paying for your ramen, it's not necessarily bad to stay longer. Well, however, considering the ramen shop and the other waiting customers, I personally, it seems best for everyone to give up your seat once you have done eating. 
But of course, there is no need to worry about this during non-busy times. However, when there are waiting customers, I leave the shop within a minute after finishing my ramen. Alright, so the second unspoken rule is to order at least one bowl of ramen per person. Uh, this is a bit vague and whether it's an unspoken rule or a standard rule, I'm not really sure. However, it's generally not considered good to go to a ramen shop with like, let's say two people and only order one bowl of ramen. But this might depend on like individuals and the shop. But you know, considering what was mentioned earlier about you know the management of ramen shop, not ordering ramen for each person can be very tough on the shop side. So if you visit Japan during a trip, you might want to try like various dishes and share them with everyone. Well, I understand that. Well, however, I think ordering one bowl of ramen per person is an unspoken rule at ramen shops. Alright, so the third one is somewhat related to the previous point. It's not to chat a lot while eating at ramen shop. But of course, there is no problem in talking. But if you keep talking for too long, it makes me think, you know, I come on, I hurry up and eat. Well, this is because it's common understanding among the Japanese people that ramen doesn't taste good at all if it gets soggy. So even when I go to a ramen restaurant with my friends, I hardly speak at all. Of course, there are some conversations. But not that wrong. You know, please don't misunderstand. I'm not saying you can't talk in the restaurant, of course. But I just want to enjoy my ramen while it's delicious. So to avoid like ramen getting saggy, I personally never ever considered eating ramen while listening to like let's say earphones, watching videos, and probably never well as well. So what do you all think about using earphones at ramen shop? Like, do you agree with the ramen shop that asks customers to refrain from using earphones? Well, perhaps in the country, eating with earphones on might be considered bad manners, but in other countries, it might be a problem at all. Well, so please let me know what is it like in your country. Well, as I mentioned earlier, there are various unspoken rules in Japan which are difficult for you to understand, maybe. So if you want to know more about other unspoken rules in Japan, please take a look at this video. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.